Hey, what's up, guys? It appears I am a little late for this trend, but I've done the art for it anyways, so I'm going through with uploading the video. I am doing the Warrior Cats Clan Generator Challenge. Basically, you go to a website and you generate a Warrior Cats Clan, and then you draw the characters that have been given to you using their generated descriptions. This is a really fun experiment, and maybe I'll make a part two. I hope you enjoy. Hello again, guys. Here in this speed paint, you can see me drawing Merkstar. Merkstar is the leader of Hemlock Clan, and I wanted to draw him as a different breed than the usual breeds I see everybody else doing. I wanted to draw him as a British Shorthair Cat after my own British Shorthair Cat. I was having some trouble with his markings at first, but then I decided that as a blue British Shorthair, he should not have much markings, so I decided to keep him sort of a solid color with slight accents to his feet. I really like the addition of the scared mouse in his paws, as I feel it adds more character to the drawing than if he was just sitting static while looking at the camera. Overall, I'm really proud of how this drawing turned out, and I think it's a solid beginning to the rest of the drawings you'll see here. Up next, we have Yellowleg, the deputy of Hemlock Clan. I really like the pose I put her in, as I find it looks very active and bouncy, compared to if she was just sitting down or standing in some other normal pose. This was a very new drawing for me, as I don't usually draw calico cats or bobtail cats. The description had described Yellowleg as a sparse-haired white she-cat, with a chocolate and red classic calico tail and ears and amber eyes. I hadn't known what sparse-haired meat meant at the time, as I don't draw sparse-haired cats often, and thus I didn't put it into the drawing. If I make a part two though, I'll probably incorporate this sparse-haired characteristic into another cat. Despite her name being Yellowleg, there is nothing yellow or leg-related about her. In fact, the description described she had no markings on any of her legs. And I just really, really wanted to add something to her legs, maybe like a more orange marking or something like that, but I had to stick to the description I felt, so there was no addition there. But if I had the choice, I'd probably change the red up a bit to a lighter orange and made her leg the majority of that color, if I were to match it to the name. But this is a generator challenge and not an accuracy challenge, so I decided not to question the generator and just go with the design. Anyway. Even though it wasn't that accurate to the name, I still love the design and how it came out, and I find it very adorable and fluffy. This one. This one turned out to be the most experimental one out of all of my other drawings. And it just so happened to become my favorite one. This is a drawing of Alder Whisker, the medicine cat of Hemlock Clan. He was described as a short-haired lilac tom with green eyes. Now, before this point, I had never heard of a lilac-colored cat. So I decided to not google what a lilac colored cat looked like, and I just jumped straight into this challenge. Throughout this entire challenge, my cat drawing skills have improved with every drawing I've found. I had developed strategies to draw paws and heels, and I honestly really like it. This drawing, though, was my favorite and still is. I decided to give him a little trap and release nick to the top of his ear, as I don't see that much in cat designs, and I found that it would maybe be an interesting hint to some unknown backstory for this character. Only now do I realize I think I accidentally gave him the ear nick on the wrong ear. But that's fine. You still get the point across in that drawing, I feel. For this drawing, I decided to take a special approach to his markings by adding a gradient of darker color and then adding the stripes onto that. I've never ever done this before and I've also never ever drawn mackerel stripes, which is the kind of striping I decided to give this cat. I think it turned out amazing and this is definitely my favorite drawing. And last but not least, we have Spider Throat. This is the first warrior and the last cat I'm drawing for this video. Since I drew all this and recorded all this on IBIS Paint, that means that you aren't going to see any undoing or redoing in the speed draw. So unbeknownst to you, I had so, so much difficulty with this sketch. So much difficulty, in fact, that I had to resort to using a smaller side sketch that I did before I started the main drawing when I was sketching this out on paper. All of the other drawings up until this point were kind of a breeze, despite Alder Whiskers markings being slightly complex, but this one 
was definitely the most difficult out of all of them. Because it's a completely black cat, so I had to find a design. But one thing I was sure of were those black stripy markings on her neck, because I wanted to give more of a spider impression, as her name is Spider Throat. So I thought that'd be a cool addition. This is probably my least favorite out of all of them, but that does not mean that I do not like her. And with that, that will be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed all of my different cat drawings. And who knows, maybe if this video gets enough views, then maybe I'll make a part two. Also, I know that most cats' descriptions describe them as short-haired, and I gave them long fur anyway. That's just because that literally every single cat, except for like two on that allegiance, had short fur. So I just had to get some fluffiness in there, you know. Also, guys, keep your eyes open. Mystery is happening, guys.